This is code section 901. And 901A is starts out if the taxpayer chooses to have the benefits of this subpart. It is the taxpayer's choice. It's not something you have to do. And it's a year by year choice. But it's also a choice that is for all of your foreign taxes. If you, for example, you know, are working in another country and you have tax on your wages and you also have tax on your interest income, you know, in uh, that uh, foreign country, uh, you cannot make it for the election for just one category. It's all or nothing. It's for, it's either I make the election and I claim a credit for all of my taxes or I do not claim the credit on any of those taxes and I, and I instead take a deduction. Now, is a, uh, when I say a credit gives a dollar for dollar benefit, uh, what do I mean? If uh, I have a, let's say, a, a liability to the U.S. government of 10, and I'm able to use eight, let's say, a foreign tax credit, then I will only pay two to the U.S. government. I, for every dollar of foreign tax I pay, I reduce my U.S. tax liability by a, a similar dollar. Okay, how much is a deduction worth? If I have a, a U.S. tax obligation of uh, 12, and if I have, let's say, uh, a foreign tax of 10, uh, how much is my tax of 12 reduced if my tax rate is, uh, let's say I'm a corporation, is 21%? times the tax rate of 21% is $2.10. Okay, so if I, if I said I had a tax liability of 12, so I reduce my 12 by $2.10 and I now owe $9.80. Oh, okay, right, now you're, you're, you're getting to the point of, okay, where is it in the computation? Uh, I'm just getting to the economic effect at the end of the day. You're, you're right, if, as I said, the tax was 12, but to get to that 12 of tax first, I have to take some amount of income, some amount of expenses. And yes, when I say I pay, uh, I take a deduction for 10 of taxes, okay, I increase my expenses by 10, which means that I have 10 less of taxable income, and I multiply times 21% my taxable income, and I will get down to $9.80. So, yes, we're, we're both saying the same thing, but we're coming from different directions. And that's why I always take that $6 as a credit. I thought it was eight. No, no six. Six. I only get six every year. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Very good. I, I apologize. It's a really, really good investment. <laughs> yeah, I, that's exactly right. Uh, now, is there any time? I mean, uh, this uh, this was kind of interesting. It seems to have disappeared. But uh, uh, the law, before it disappeared, said if the taxpayer chooses, is there any time when you might want to uh, not choose the credit when maybe the 2.1 is better than having the 8. Yeah, one of the examples I was reading was when you can't use the credit because maybe you have foreign losses and you don't have enough foreign income to deduct it against. And so the deduction as an expense under 6, or is it 275? then you can take it as a deduction and it will reduce your U.S. income then, but just by, as but just by that, but 
just by that percentage. Yeah. Uh, uh, it used to be going back some number of years that there wasn't, uh, that there were very low numbers of years uh, in terms of ability to carry back losses, carry forward losses, carry back foreign tax credits, carry forward excess foreign tax credits. Uh, there used to be a very low number of years, I think like, like uh, three years back and five years forward on one type and maybe two back and five forward on the other. Uh, it used to be, because five years could go by rather quickly, it used to be that uh, you might be looking at losses for some number of years and uh, you'd be better off, you know, having one than the other. Uh, today, with the unlimited loss carry forward and the 10 year, one year back and 10 year going forward for foreign tax credit, uh, excess foreign tax credits, it's not going to be as often that you run into cases where you're going to be better off with the deduction. Unless you're working with small numbers and you're paying some tax preparer to go through all of the machinations which cost more than that six dollars <laughs> credit. But be that as it may. Uh, so usually, yes, it's going to be better to take the credit. But know that uh, there are so many crazy situations out there that you'll find yourself looking at that at some point uh, you're going to have to scratch your head and say, uh, gee, should, you know, would the client or the company I'm working for be better off uh, with a deduction instead of credit? It is a choice year by year. Uh, notice the uh, the last one, you know, how long do you have to make a choice? Uh, notice that there is a special 10-year statute of limitations. What's the usual statute of limitations? For carry forward? Uh, well, statute of limitations uh, for you to amend returns. Uh, three years? Uh, yeah, normally three years. There's a special exception in the case of foreign taxes that's 10 years. And uh, if we think about, well, gee, why is it there? Uh, how long, you know, let's say that uh, you're looking at a, uh, I'm sure that you've read a tax case or two in some of your other courses. Is that uh, reasonable? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's reasonable. Yeah. Although they don't sign many here. They don't assign many, uh, but they, they have assigned one or two. Okay. Now, have you ever <coughs> noted the year that the case is decided versus the years to which the case relates? You know, is it just like, is the year to which the case relates just two or three years earlier, or is it more like a decade? Or maybe several decades. I was extern at the IRS last quarter, and it's not foreign tax cases, just small tax cases were at least three, four years old. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can find uh, that it's common that there's quite a period of time for the litigation process to uh, move through its various steps. And if you think the U.S. is bad on things taking forever, in some other places, it can be even worse. So the point is, uh, 10 years is not unreasonable uh, to give you, give taxpayers a, uh, a choice on whether they claim the deduction or credit uh, going back. Uh, or there's an adjustment in the amount of tax to uh, make an adjustment uh, at 